Hello and welcome to my channel, Thriving Not Just Surviving. I'm your host, Jolly Henry. Today I want to do a deep dive on hyaluronic acid because it's a bit of a bugbear of mine that people could be wasting their money on skincare products containing hyaluronic acid and I want to make sure you're not one of them. Now, let me be clear, I'm not saying that hyaluronic acid doesn't work. It works extremely well. But if you're applying it topically to the skin, it needs to be a smaller molecule weight of hyaluronic acid to make a difference to skin rejuvenation. High molecular weight hyaluronic acid is even better because it has a host of benefits, including, but also beyond great skin. But the molecules are too big to penetrate the skin's outer dermis and get down to the lower epidermal levels where they can be effective. And that's why I use hyaluronic acid on my skin when I'm doing a microneedling session and puncturing those outer dermal layers to deliver the hyaluronic acid to those deeper layers where they can be effective. Um, I do that about once every six to eight weeks and I do have a previous video that I've done on microneedling which I'll include in the description. The rest of the time what I do is I eat a daily supplement of 200 milligrams of high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Now, let's get into the nitty gritty here because I want to first discuss what hyaluronic acid is and what the benefits are before discussing exactly how I incorporate it into my daily anti-aging routine. If you're enjoying my videos, please hit like and subscribe. It really helps me to beat those YouTube algorithms and to grow my channel. Hyaluronic acid, also called hyaluron, is an anionic, non-sulfated glycosaminoglycan distributed widely throughout connective epithelial and neural tissues. It's a gloopy, slippery substance that mammals, including humans, produce naturally. It's a humectant, which means that it draws moisture from the atmosphere and absorbs it. The theory is that when it draws this moisture, it adds this to your skin, giving your skin a more dewy, moisturised, plumper and crucially younger appearance. This is why skincare products often contain it. But does the science back it up? Let's take a look. Okay, so this first study is on 45 females, 30 to 65 years of age with Fitzpatrick skin types one to six. That basically means they had a variety of different skin tones um, who exhibited photo aging and they used the hyaluronic acid facial serum twice daily with sunscreen. And then they looked at the results afterwards. Um, they did facial swabbing and photography um, to see you know, what the results were in terms of um, how much their skin had improved after this treatment. And on this lady, you can see, if you look at the after photo, there's a bit more reflection of light, especially on her left cheek. Um, and that's a sign that her skin has become more even toned and therefore is reflecting light more. So, you know, the changes aren't dramatic. You're only really going to get dramatic changes if you do kind of like a facelift or, face, you know, plastic surgery. But with um, skin treatments like hyaluronic acid, you might see subtle changes. And that's what we see here. With this lady, I think the changes are a bit more pronounced because you can see, especially if you look around the eyes, the wrinkling around the eyes in the before photo is quite significant compared to the after photo. Also around her mouth, you can see the skin has improved. And again, the skin is a little bit more shiny. The light is reflected more in the after photo, which shows that her skin has become more even toned, more even textured rather. And that means it's reflecting light more in that after photo. That last study was topical application of the hyaluronic acid, so putting serum onto the skin. This study is to do with people actually eating the hyaluronic acid supplements. It was a um, placebo-controlled, randomized, double-blind trial of daily hyaluronic acid intake, so ingesting it, of 120 milligrams for 12 weeks in 40 healthy Asian men and women aged between 35 to 64 years. Um, so they looked at the skin condition before, and then they did a variety of different methods, including um, taking photographs, which we're gonna analyze next, to look at the results afterwards. Now looking at the results, I want to draw your attention to the photo in the top right hand corner because if you look at that guy's uh, before photo, to me the eye looks a little bit more downturned in the photo on the left than it does in the after photo and that is a sign of the skin elasticity improving to the point where you know there's less uh, sagging of the skin. Um, in, in a lot of the photos, especially to me the photo on the bottom left hand corner, you can see a higher reflection of light in the after photo and that means there's an evening out of the skin texture, um, perhaps a reduction in the size of the pores, and um, that even skin texture will mean that the light reflects better 
in the after photo. So that will be a direct result of taking the hyaluronic acid supplements, ingesting it um, as opposed to putting it on the skin. If we look also at the photo in the middle on the right hand side and the photo in the middle on the left hand side, to me the eyes in the after photo look quite a lot less sunken and that will be again as a result of taking the hyaluronic acid and improved skin elasticity which means that the, um, that the eyes and the skin is less sunken. Now, donotage.org on their website has got an excellent summary of the benefits of hyaluronic acid. So I'm going to read that out verbatim here now. The average house mouse lives just three years. The naked mole rat lives on average until around 30 years old, the longest living rodent by far. Do Not Age Advisory Board member Dr. Vera Gubanova concludes that this may be because of their abundance of high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Naked mole rats very rarely get cancer and Vera and her team found that removing the high molecular weight hyaluronic acid from naked mole rats makes them more prone to cancer similarly to their other rodent cousins. Thus, it seems the more high molecular weight hyaluronic acid a creature has, the less likely the cancer risk. Hyaluronic acid has also been shown to have cancer-fighting abilities in humans. Interestingly, high molecular weight hyaluronic acid promotes bodily repair over other molecular weight hyaluronic acid. Skin aging is associated with a loss of skin moisture. The key molecule involved in skin moisture is hyaluronic acid as it has a unique capacity to bind and retain water molecules. In layman's terms, the theory is that the higher your hyaluronic acid, the more moisture your skin will retain and therefore less aging of the skin. Functions of hyaluronic acid include hydration, lubrication of joints and the framework for blood vessel formation. Now, the size of hyaluronic acid is of critical importance for its various functions described here. Hyaluronic acid of high molecular weight is present in intact tissues and has the potential to stop tumours from growing as well as prevent your immune system from overreacting. Smaller polymers of hyaluronic acid are distress signals and potent inducers of inflammation and angiogenesis, so not what we want. The reduction of hyaluronic acid in the skin by ageing, sun exposure and air pollutants can induce dryness in the skin. However, daily hyaluronic acid supplementation moisturises your skin and makes it healthy. Taking hyaluronic acid alleviates dry skin. It has been proven that oral supplementation of hyaluronic acid reduces wrinkles. Hyaluronic acid counteracts the aging process with its anti-inflammatory and radical scavenging properties. It also causes significant improvements in skin hydrations, wrinkles and elasticity. Hyaluronic acid may also protect against respiratory diseases, assist with wound healing, alleviate dry eyes, protect bone density, reduce painful joints. Hyaluronic acid is also vital for brain health. A lack of hyaluronic acid has led to seizures and diminished brain activity. Hyaluronic acid has a remarkable hydration capacity and a lack of it causes reduced extracellular space volume in the brain. This space is vital for brain function. Head trauma, stroke and other brain injuries that initiate epilepsy are known to be associated with an early decrease in high molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So when taken as a supplement, high molecular weight hyaluronic acid has a high bioavailability and reaches peripheral tissues including joints and skin. These findings support reports of biological actions seen after oral administration of high molecular weight hyaluronic acid in both animals and human studies. This means that supplementing with high molecular weight hyaluronic acid is beneficial for your joint and skin health. Now, reflecting on that summary by Do Not Age, two things jump out at me. The first is that it is high molecular weight hyaluronic acid, which is the effective type. Many skincare products don't tell you what type of hyaluronic acid they have within their formula. They will list it as an ingredient, but not tell you what type, so you don't know if the product contains high molecular weight. And even if it does, like I said earlier, that weight will simply sit on the skin surface, not going to where it's really needed at the deeper levels. So many skincare brands list sodium hyaluronate as an ingredient. This is a smaller molecule version of hyaluronic acid, which can penetrate the deeper derma layers. So that is what you're looking for as an ingredient. The higher molecular weight is effective if you are injecting it into the skin or using it alongside microneedling or skin rolling. Otherwise, as far as the high molecular weight goes, you should be ingesting it as a daily oral supplement. 
Now I'm going to link, I'm going to include a link below to do not age.org's high molecular weight to hyaluronic acid and also my discount code. And if you do start taking it and see results, please come back here to comment on your progress. So the other thing that jumps out at me about what do not age said about hyaluronic acid is that they recommended against taking hyaluronic acid at you know, smaller weight uh, molecules of hyaluronic acid because it, there's a potential that it could exacerbate inflammation. Um, the report that I shared with you earlier, they don't mention what weight of hyaluronic acid they were using in that study. Um, if I'm wrong and if you, if you scan through the study and you can see where they've mentioned it, please do comment below. I would love to know whether it's high weight, molecular weight or low weight that they used in that particular study. Um, but I would say if you're unclear or unsure, just to be on the safe side, it's better to ingest the high molecular weight um, hyaluronic acid and then, you know, only use kind of um, other types of hyaluronic acid if you're sometimes if you're doing it, for example, as part of a microneedling session. So I've now been taking a hyaluronic acid supplement for about two months and I have seen a difference. Um, the main difference I've seen has been to the elasticity of my neck. I really wish I'd taken before and after photos of this area, but honestly, I wasn't expecting to see any improvement over and above the improvements that I'd already experienced by taking NMN. And if you want to see the video I did previously on NMN, I will link to it below. So I was pretty concerned about how crepey and saggy my neck was becoming. And only this past week, I've noticed that it has improved. And that improvement has come since I've been taking the hyaluronic acid. So I think it probably is as a result of that. Um, but, you know, there's no way of knowing. It could be an additional result of the NMN I've also been taking. In any case, now I'm committed to continuing with both these two supplements, with NMN and with hyaluronic acid. Not just for skin rejuvenation, but also for overall health. So what are your thoughts? Have you been using hyaluronic acid to improve your skin? And if so, what kind of results have you experienced? What about NMN? Have you been taking it for rejuvenation? Please share your story. And if you've enjoyed today's content, please hit the like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. Please help my channel to grow so I can spread the good word to many more people who want to live long, healthy lives in which they look and feel their best. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.